This week we're talking Proco Rat. Welcome back to the channel, my name is Sam, and before we start this video I'd just like to remind you all to please subscribe to the channel. We upload videos every week on video production, music production, photography, editing, all that good stuff. So please subscribe if you haven't already, notifications on to stay updated on our latest videos. So this week I wasn't planning on doing a video about this, this wasn't the plan at all. Uh, but Neil has been setting me up with amp sims and IRs and all that good stuff. And the whole reason behind it is because I've moved, so I can't mic my amp up, which is what I would normally do. I'd normally mic my amp up with an SM57 and then just go off my board and not really do anything to do with amp sims and maybe just at the EQ at the end. However, that's not practical anymore. I live in a flat now, so can't really do that. But um, I have been converted. I am impressed with the stuff that I've seen so far. So my basic setup is Cubase Artist 10. So we've got the Ignite Amps Emissary, uh, which is basically modeled after a PRS. That is on the clean channel with the treble all the way up and the bright setting. That was sort of the best way I could get the sound I wanted. On the software front, I'm also using a TSC R47 uh, RAT SIM. Uh, as well as the Mix IR3 IR loader, so you can have a little look on screen and see what I'm running. To be honest, I'm not the most knowledgeable of this sort of thing, I just kind of added stuff until it sounded the way I wanted it to sound. Uh, as far as the physical pedals go, uh, I'm running the Mua Black Secret, which is my clone, uh, and I'm also running the Proco Rat 2 Original with the LM308 chip. Um, to be honest, I've tried both. I can barely tell a difference, uh, but for those purists out there, I thought I would just rem let you know, all know that it is the original Proco Rat 2. Funnily enough, it was owned by Neil. The Proco Rat is my absolute favourite pedal ever. It just gets the exact sound I want, which is fantastic. And then I'm playing my 2004 Epiphone Black Beauty Custom. Uh, this was actually my uncle's, um, who sadly passed away, but he passed this on to me. And this is my favourite guitar. It just does everything I want. It's set up amazingly and sounds fantastic. So without further ado, I'll just run you through the basic clean tone. <laughs> So yeah, let's uh, see how they compare. So as well, I'm just going to point out that I've got all the uh, RAT settings basically the same. The only difference is the level output, just for whatever reason, the circuits or the coding just outputs differently. But I've got the distortion all at 10 o'clock and I've got the filter at the one o'clock position. <laughs>
So I'm actually recording this outro a few days later. Uh, firstly, hopefully the lighting is a little better than it was. Uh, secondly, there were a few issues with the Cubase project initially. So what you heard was basically a corrected version of what I heard. So what I ended up having was the RAT software simulation, the TSE R47, after the amp sim. So I could hear it when I was playing, but I just thought that was down to the software. Um, and I ended up basing my summary on what I heard when I was playing, and then I realised afterwards I'd had that set incorrectly. So I have gone back and corrected it, and I'm now going to base the conclusion on what the corrected audio sounds like. So firstly, the Moa Black Secret and the Proco Rat 2 sound really similar, and that's quite impressive. The Moa, I could dial in the same settings that I would always use on my actual Proco Rat, and it sounded very close. I must also point out as well that I know I didn't actually change any settings or try kind of different combinations, but that's because that's how I'd use the pedal in a real live or rehearsal situation. So initially I thought the R47 simulation wasn't that great, but then once I actually corrected the order and actually had a close look, it is a great sounding pedal. Now it's not quite as accurate to the original Rat as the Moa physical pedal is, but it's it's not bad, and I, in its own right, it's a really nice sounding pedal simulation. Um, one of the things I noticed as well is that it does actually have a bit more dynamic range, especially on the lower mids. Where it falls a little bit though, is it doesn't quite match up to the sort of just almost unhinged grit that you get from the Rat. One of the things I really like about the Rat itself as a pedal is, even you know at 10 o'clock, it still sounds really intense, like it's ready to just explode. So what I really wanted was something that would come pretty close and it did in some ways and I bet that with a bit more tweaking and some EQ and playing around with some settings I probably could get it sounding pretty close and for the, the fact it's a freebie is really impressive. Um, but that being said I still prefer the sound of the real pedals going into the amp sim. Now I've got to say a big shout out to firstly to Ignite Amps and their Emissary Amp. I really like the sound of it and as much as I would still prefer to use a real amp. Their amp sim was really good and coupled with the Mix IR, just the standard 12 inch uh, starter pack speaker, that sounded, it was a nice combination. I was I was certainly quite impressed. And the other thing I've got to say is there were occasions where I did actually prefer what I was hearing from the Rat sim, the R47, but at the same time, I still overall preferred the sound of the pedals. I would still say the Proco Rat 2 is definitely my favorite, um, only by a little bit, but it's still definitely tops it. I think it just sounds a little sweeter and smoother, but still has that kind of intense grit. Um, I really love the Moor Black Secret. It's just a little brittle every now and then, but it's still really close and a really, really good option. This is a thing. Rat comparisons have been done a lot, and I just want to do something slightly different by mainly focusing it around comparing that and using that purely with amp sims and software-based stuff, which I know is kind of some people frown upon, but you know, when you're in a place when you can't make a lot of noise, it's a really good option. But that being said, I think the TSC R47 is a really good pedal and the fact it is free is impressive. If I'm traveling and I've just got a few little bits and I want to record something, that's a really good option. I would definitely consider using it for, for some sounds. And I like the fact that even though it's kind of got a slightly darker, kind of muddier tone, it actually gets that kind of system of a down tone, which I quite like in its own right. So yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with all three. I like the sound of all of them. Um, I still choose to use a real pedal, but um, yeah, you know, going in just with a guitar and purely software simulation, I'm a little bit more sold than I was. I was quite anti for the longest time, but now I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. And we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I think we're going to keep doing these pedal comparisons, specifically comparing real pedals to simulated pedals. Um, I know Neil wants to do something based around the Dimension C and other sort of clones and software sims of that. So yeah, we'll have another video next week. I think we'll be going back to doing more kind of camera stuff. We've done a lot of music recently. So uh, yes, look forward to hopefully seeing you in the next video. And uh, yeah, see you then. Bye.